Hi there, and welcome to episode 41 of my Vanilla Ice Sheet playthrough series. I'm Icon, and look at this beauty. It's growing. Well, it's not a beauty. It's a it's a rackety, and uh, it's a, it's a really bad spaceship. It's it's really looking gross. Even the ship engines are um, are mounted the wrong side. I don't care. As long as we get out of here, it's going to be fine. So advanced components and components are getting crafted at a really good um, pace now. The only thing I'm lacking is um, plasteel. I can already tell that the amount of plasteel will be not enough in, at the end of things. We're going to need more than that. But apart from that, I'm on a really, really good way here. So there we go. I built another structural beam because I need more um, mounting points for the crypto sleep caskets so there we go let's make it like that that's gonna be seven two four six and seven because i think one person will stay behind i don't want to leave this place empty i guess it's gonna be paul i mean paul is not really from here from, uh, um, from this place or Barbara, I don't know. Let's see. I take uh, I take ideas on that um, topic. So, how do I get more plasteel? There's uh, the obvious way of scanning for it. And I want to continue with this because that worked out quite well in the past. So I got my shells back. That's good. I sold them the last episode to buy a little bit more useful things. So, didn't find anything yet, huh? Okay. So, there's a new sheep in town. And, uh, what's Gray doing? Digging at Slate. Oh. Looks like I uh, gave some irrelevant work orders here. Well, no matter. I'll mine out like this. Creating some shortcuts, you know. And also there was one thing, art. Art sells for really good money. And, um, well, I don't have anybody who's uh, really good at it. Nathan is one person that I don't want to, well, Ah, oh, well, whatever. I'm gonna send Nathan for that. I don't need Nathan on the crafting bench uh, that much. Poor Norman. Got murdered by Gray. That's really something I don't, uh, I don't take lightly here. So we're going to make these forever and uh, not out of everything, but uh, out of Jade. Jade will be turned into um, statues now by Nathan with his uh, legendary art skill of zero. But uh, I don't mind um, because most, my, my whole uh, intention here is uh, to get rid of that stuff in a useful way. That's all. I want to do something useful out of uh, the jade instead of tossing it away and or, or selling it raw. That would be the other form of waste which I don't want to do. So, it's summer. It's uh, a warm minus 13 degree here, and I struck compact machinery. Man, I want to do a shortcut and I find machinery instead. I like that. So... Time to... And Jonah's shift on the scanner, and um, yeah, Gray is also getting things done on the mining business. I mean, we're we're making slow progress here. I'm not surprised about the uh, the low speed now. So there's uh, lots of steel necessary here, but the crypto sleep caskets are getting done. We're already done with three of them, and uh, wow, still twelve more advanced components. Well. 10 of those two that I already own. So I need to wait for the next 
harvest of psychoid leaves and uh, smoke leaf leaves to um, get anything done here. Um, well, if my food is uh, growing um, to if my food stocks are growing too high again, I might be uh, considering doing some new chem fuel here. I'm only having 140 units left, so that's not really a lot. Yay, researched the gun link. All these unnecessary technologies. So, Jonah research uh, or works at times on the long range mineral scanner. Well, it's at least something. Another crypto sleep casket done. Awesome. The second fabrication bench was a very um, good investment, in my opinion. Alright, let's keep scanning. Jonah has some uh, power left for today. Alright, that's that. 49% of the guaranteed success have been done. Still no success, though. A marble meteorite. Too bad. Not exactly what I uh, wanted to have. Poor quality, poor quality. All right, well, at least Nathan is not um, doing uh, complete nonsense here. I'm positively surprised. All right. So I want to uh, guide Jonah again after his cooking uh, business. We're going to go back to the scanner. So, just hope for that the steel deposit, or a fresh uh, a fresh uh, steel deposit would be good as well. But uh, well. I said it once, and I'll say it again: uh, this ground penetrating scanner is really no fun to use. Okay, sixty percent of the guaranteed find. I think it would be way better if I could just uh, tell somebody to um, be like away for two or three days or not available for two or three days and then they come back with um, some scanned out position. The, the way it works right here is just annoying. It's uh, tedious and uh, no fun work to use this. But uh, at the same time I feel like it's the best way to... Um, get new resources because long-range scanning is just uh, not really a thing here so uh, good lord there's a steel deposit down there yay or something like that so let's build a copy to at least mark the, the deposit here um, but I don't think uh, this is going to be what I what I'll use I mean, it's not really uh, further away than the location I'm using right now. So, colonist needs rescue. All right. No, I gotta remember that Paul needs to re-equip his rifle now. So that's how Paul lost his rifle the other day. Stupid food poisoning. So, um, two more crypt to sleep caskets. Alright, more and more people are getting uh, food poisonings from the incompetent cook. If you look up the uh, skill of the cook, you'd be, um, well, okay, it's only a skill of four. No. Fifteen. Fifth, a, a cooking rating of fifteen, and people get, uh, still get a food poisoning. 
It's a shame. So there goes another bulk goods trader. Um, these folks have plus steel for sale. Awesome. Do they also have advanced components? Even better. So um, how is my gold? My gold is good. So I don't. I can't imagine that I get enough money to uh, buy all the things that I want to buy. But I'm gonna try for sure. So um, they don't buy. A lot of things or no it's a bulk goods trader so they will buy pretty much everything that's the good thing about bulk goods traders they are not really um, picky you know but I don't think I'll have enough money for this kind of endeavor so I could sell some of those sheep I mean I don't need those many and uh, I could also sell um, 1000 units of rice the berries. Oh, we're getting there. And I'm um, going to sell off what? Something meaningless. Yeah, let's take that flak jacket. There we go. So, a nice restock of plasteel here. This stuff is so costly. It's amazing. Great! Awesome. It's really just awesome. I also uh, was able to um, tune down my um, my sheep. That's really good because I have too many. So wonderful, and even got me some new components so I can uh, craft those uh, advanced components directly. Because the worst worst part is always when you have to um, pre-craft the components before you can craft the actual advanced components. So, um, yeah, only two more Crypto Sleep Caskets, and the Minyoka Union is coming for another visit. Separate angles, and uh, are they uh, preparing? No, they're sappering us again. So, Paul, I know that Paul doesn't have his rifle. I paid attention to that. <laughs> All right, so um, let's check it out. There's uh, two people coming from this side, three people coming from this side, and a larger squad coming from that side. All right, so um, let's see. I'll just try and catch them when they uh, hit town. So, um, well, I think I got to uh, split my team into, uh, into two, uh, two separate squads. They're going to attack at this place quite soonish, so yeah, okay. Ooh, look at those intelligent raiders evading traps. Alright. I don't like what Jonah is doing there. Dang. Okay. So that squad has been taken care of. Wonderful. So most of my folks uh, go down here and I'm going to keep Nathan and Aaron on this uh, flank here to take out these two uh, crazies here. It's one of the really really easy uh, situations to deal with. So here I'm just uh, waiting for them to enter my um, storage area. Okay. That's just a very, very simple fight. And uh, here goes the same. Let's send them over just in case. In the meantime, most of my uh, squad is are already arriving. What's this guy? All right. So Paul got downed. Okay. But overall, this is not really a uh, particularly uh, threatening situation. What I do realize, though, is these guys are 
not retreating, and they killed Eden. Oh man. 80 in a, and 80 into such years, and uh, now she died on us. Dang. One of my best crafters. Now. What a shame. So Barbara, please work on that wall. And uh, is there anybody particularly good at crafting from, from those downed people here? Sadly, no. Sadly, sadly, no. Well, those two guys, they're going to die. Just like poor Eden. Man, feeling so sad about this. She really uh, was a part of our community. And now we get a mad snow here. Are you kidding me? And uh, please, can somebody... Uh... Alright, Lenny is doing this. So, Barbara, please work on that uh, sarcophagus. Alright, random raid, killing one of my most favorite people in the colony. Well, well. So, um, yeah, sure, the polar bear had uh, five hours to live. Yeah, and it's, it's really that one thing which I read about. So, the polar bear's blood loss is now severe. Severe blood loss seems to have one of the nastiest con consciousness debuffs available. And under some circumstances, when you're suffering too much damage and your consciousness level is too low, severe blood loss is already enough to kill you. Sad but true. Okay, so um, I lost my bear and Eden, but well. The bear was pretty much Eden's uh, own pet, so I think it's only... Uh, it's only a fitting thing. So Paul was one of my uh, best crafters and Nathan is not going to do art anymore. I need Nathan on the on the crafting bench doing um, components. Like, really. So we need more crafters here in general. Let's put up air into that job too. So... Paul is getting through, I guess. There we go. I mean, all it takes would be um, some Resurrector Max Serum. Because uh, I got the... Um, all of them... All of these people here are uh, preserved wonderful. They were... Um, they never... Um, desiccated or rotted or, or, or rotted ever because the, the temperatures here never um, reach a positive uh, number ever out of natural causes so oh man the worst part about that um Eden was my major crafting force here, so we're going to miss that part really hard. She was doing a lot of work here in the colony on this end. So, well, well. What I underestimated during the last fight was uh, there was a terrible amount of uh, food poisoning in my colony. Therefore, my people just uh, came too late to that fight. So, um, Gray and Lenny reject. Okay, whatever. I don't care about your problem, about your uh, pre-marriage problems. So, um, yeah, that slows down progress by a lot. So, Nathan is uh, busy doing the uh, smoke leaf joints, but uh, honestly, I don't want him to do that. <sighs> well, whatever. I'm going to force him to uh, manually to do this. 
because right now I have all the materials it takes to uh, do more advanced components, so might as well craft them manually for now and make sure they're getting done in time. Well, well. Feeling really sad about the loss here. And all these exotic goods traders that I've recruited or invited into my base. And we never had any... Um, why is there still psychedity? Um, never did we have any... Um, oh, I lost the thread of my thought. Whatever, it can't be that important. The psyche, the, the sudden appearance of the psyche T there totally uh, distracted me. All right, so Paul is back in business. That's good. Paul is one of my major um, workforces in the crafting business. Yeah, there we go. That's exactly what I need. So, Jonah. Keep researching here. So now I don't need to uh, assign people manually anymore. I think Paul is going to uh, fulfill that job quite nicely for me. Or do does he? What's Paul doing now? Taking penoxicillin and afterwards making advanced components. That's my boy. Okay. So looks like the um, crypto sleep caskets are getting done today. Wonderful. That's great. Poor old Eden. I really would have loved to take her with me on the uh, on the spaceship, but uh, didn't happen. So there's some more machinery here to pick up. I'll take everything, you know. I'll just take everything. And now we're doing more and more drugs for the colony. Producing drugs. Doing drugs is uh, giving wrong implications here. The only drugs they, these guys are doing, after all, are um, reefers. But uh, Yayo is not getting used here. Okay, let's... Uh, okay, then you haul one component and, uh, and that chunk instead of both components. Not going to uh, to argue there. So but things are getting done in a uh, quite good uh, time right now. So there we go. And that's the last crypto sleep casket. Wonderful. So, next step is the ship computer core. I'm going to build it there. And that also, mean, also means I'm going to use my persona core now. Finally. So, um, let's send Barbara over there. And the rest will be done automatically. Alright, the uh, crypto sleep casket's done. And uh, the ship computer core, four advanced components, and then I only need the reactor. Ah, the reactor would block the interaction spot of the crypto sleep casket. So let's put the reactor thingy, or no, that's uh, too close to the enemies. Um, can I put it down here? Looks positive. All right. I just hope it'll be uh, it'll be okay. No, that looks uh, like I want to at least uh, connect it somehow with the uh, with this structural beam here, just in case something weird might happen. All right. So do I have enough uranium left? Yes, I do. Do I have enough plasteel left? Yes, I do. So obviously, 
All it takes is a dirty amount of advanced components and then the ship will be completed. So I guess there's a, a good chance that uh, during the next episode we're going to start winding up the ship reactor. So finale is going uh, is coming my friends. And I'm even having crypto sleeps ca crypto sleep caskets for everybody. That's really really nice. So looks like I don't need any uh, other caravans anymore because um, I'm getting things done here with the uh, with the given means. So looks like Nathan can uh, can be um, can stay stay an artist because uh, we're getting the um, component crafting done. It's no problem. Paul got this. He's basically only making advanced components, and this is uh, all it takes at this point. One person crafting uh, components on a daily basis. So um, we're gonna get things done here. Lenny is on a insulting spree. So um, can somebody please arrest Lenny? I thought we we were ought to have a party here. So. There we go. Yeah. Keep it, um, canceling my own orders here accidentally. All right. So um, there's a party in the wild uh, corpse monument. All right. If you guys want to have a party in there, be my guest. Now then. Steel seems to be not too much of a problem right now, so there's a few more, um, there would be more available, but I think I'm going to stick with the uh, deep drilling operations here. And yeah, so uh, there's 150 steel necessary here and 350 steel there, so translates into no problem man. Right. So let's watch Paul go. I think that's the uh, last necessary component there. No, there's one more necessary here. Okay. So that's gonna be the ship computer. I love it how Barbara is uh, smoothing out those floors until something for the ship is getting done and then she's just uh, jumping there like, oh me, 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 me. And then she's just uh, busy building something new for the ship. I really like that. So... Tomorrow I'm going to finish the next step there. And then only the reactor is uh, left. Just gonna craft those components necessary for that, and then we're gonna have some good fun on it with that. So I wonder if um, so there's that uh, situation again. That links hunting somebody. You should stop with that, you stupid animal. There we go. Well, some fresh food for us. I don't mind. So... Paul is going on a Psyche binge. Uh, uh, no. Stop snorting, Paul. That's not a... Uh, not an option here. 
especially since I need Paul's workforce to uh, on the advanced component front. So there we go. <laughs> no, Barbara, come on, don't do this. I hate it when they go uh, just with some work left. All right, so uh, launch ship. That would be the thing I want to do, but uh, not quite yet. So, Royal Tribute Collector. Oh, hi. Certainly don't have anything for you, my friend. So, um... I want to uh, force Nathan to, work, Nathan to work on that stuff here, too. Yeah, sure, Paul. Go on Smoke Leaf Binge, I'm okay with that. Smoke some reefers, but uh, snorting Yayo is not uh, making you happy, believe me. Yeah, okay, Lenny, then uh, follow Barbara around and hurl insults. If you think that's what you want to do, Barbara is a real, real dangerous person. If you think you want to go all annoying orange on her, please be my guest. That's the woman um, spreading headshots and, uh, and and heart shots left and right and murdering the local the local noble and then sitting on on his old throne and smoking a reefer on it and claiming it for her. So you shouldn't go after Barbara, my friend. So my friends, it's time to say goodbye for today. Next episode, I hope I'm going to be able to fetch up all the necessary resources for the ship reactor. I mean, it's only um, five more um, advanced components. I definitely have enough plus steel to do this. I definitely can bring up enough steel to get this done. Yeah, so next episode, we're going to build that ship reactor and then... I have to survive, I guess. So feel free to drop me a comment down below. Feel free to leave a like or a subscription on the channel if you haven't done so already. I'd be super happy if you do. I don't mind if you don't. I just hope you're having a great time. And uh, we're going to get these people off the planet with this pile of junk. See you then. Bye-bye.